So I'm out here at C-Fabs in this is his XR650R. This is the e-start kit on the bike that he developed and makes, and he currently makes them. So follow the link in the description to go to CFAB's Facebook page, and you can contact him and get a price and all that good stuff. There's some guy in Poland, Team XR Poland, that bought a kit and copied it. And in that guy's video, you can see the logo. That's pretty disgusting. You shouldn't be doing that type of stuff. I mean, it's okay for competition to make a kit, whatever, but, you know, make it to your own specifications. Don't copy one. And he's not selling it for cheap either. 1,800 euros, which is like 2,200 US dollars. So, yeah, that's not cheap. And it's not even really a full kit once you start looking at it. He kind of takes a picture as if it's everything. And he'll sell you one like that, but it's not. So, if you're going to buy a kit for the XR650R, get it from CFAB. He knows what he's doing. A good guy. And he, he made this, developed it. And us motorcycle people, we stick together. And yeah, here's a close-up of the uh, kit on the bike, on his XR650R. And then we'll take a look at the individual pieces. So you got the starter. As you can see, the logo right there, CFAB the relay the battery he's charging it up right now so we can get it started and you can see how it comes around still fits just knock out the skid plate and it will fit there and still be protected now we're going to do a start of the c-fab kit on the his xr650r it hasn't run for a while but it should start right up so let's give it a whirl there we have it Nice and strong. Starts every time. So that, this is how he has his set up with the, uh, his kit that he makes. As I talked about at the beginning, anti-gravity battery, right? That's the brand? That's the, um, or EarthX. Oh, it's an EarthX. Sorry. EarthX battery. Still an awesome battery. They're very good. And you also have a CDI. Programmable CDI. A programmable CDI, which is under the seat. But that's what it looks like, and we'll now take a look at the, the kit itself, the individual pieces. This is the gear housing and cover. Crankshaft extension, plywood bolt, starter mount. Then the rest of it is sourced out by yourself through dealerships or eBay or whatever source you want. This, this is number 72 starter. Out of, since the first one, and the first one is six years old and has over 20,000 miles on it. Wow, that's a lot of... That's a lot of miles on it. A lot of miles and a lot of starters you have built the, yep. or the sides. Yeah. And you can source any type of parts you want. So right. you can do hot, some Honda parts. It's really whatever your wallet wants to do. Or eBay, just find the cheap parts. and. Most everybody on. that has one of these bikes is is mechanically inclined and likes to work on them themselves so it being a do-it-yourself kit makes it uh, economical and hands-on for this kit so, it, and it's not that difficult to install no i have a complete um, installation instructions with everything and the part numbers of all the other parts to source out so it's not hard to do awesome and as everyone saw, it works really good on the bike. Starts it right up multiple times. No issues. I mean, if you're riding this in more technical terrain, um, you're going to love it. If you're dual sporting it, you're definitely going to love it because you're not stopping and not wanting to turn off your bike while your buddies turn off theirs and say, hey, wait a minute, I got to kickstart this thing because sometimes they can be picky. Sometimes they start up the first time. As you notice with the starter, though, it started up every time. 
and this bike has sat for a while. Well, there we have it. So yeah, definitely check out the link in my description for CFAB and it will go to his Facebook page and give him a uh, shout and he can give you a quote on prices. They're always changing due to variables in the industry on material, on heat treating, just various aspects of making a kit like this. So that the price might fluctuate. So I don't want to have him say right now or me say and really you know it's best if you just contact him directly not myself because those prices always change so the price we say today is might be different tomorrow it, you don't know <laughs> so anyways hopefully this helped you all out and get you all sorted out on the brp and get out there and uh, ride more so have a good one everyone and stay well my friends